G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, something very, very interesting is happening in the charts at the moment. I want you to have a look at this. So over here, we had this pump, then it pumped up a little bit, sold off, pumped up, not quite so high, sold off. We had a breakout, which was more of a fake out in the end, and then we kind of sold off and traded sideways for a little bit. And then we had that next break off. So let's compare this to this pumps up pumps up a little more sells off pumps up not quite as high sells then we get this again pumps off and now we sell off and now we're just trading sideways it looks like Bitcoin is just repeating what it's done since basically last May through to 21st of July roughly around there or maybe a little bit after let's say 25th of July so if we sort of zoom in a little bit these two patterns fractals whatever you want to call them they do look very similar now not exactly the same but pretty similar not far off this dip looks like this dip over here pumps up sells off pumps up sells off pumps up and we get a fake out pumps up and we get a fake out and then it sells off and slowly sort of tried trade sideways while getting a little bit lower trading sideways while getting a little bit lower before it breaks out to the upside i reckon it's quite possible it's going to do exactly the same thing now it could obviously fall down and come back and go lower that's a definite possibility but i don't know the volume Looks like it's kind of gaining a little bit. It is Sunday at the moment. We'll have to see what Monday does. Will this play out and trade sideways for as long? Or will it break out early? Or will it trade sideways even longer? As we've sort of seen, the fractals, uh, you know, the the cycles, they are getting longer. Not as volatile. Uh, and the highs aren't as high and the lows aren't as low. And they trade sideways for a little bit more. So... Yeah, very, very interesting to see. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, what was the breakout for this time? Let's see. Roughly the breakout was... Let's see. There. What do we got? All right. So this will say a minus, but it'll be the other way around. So that was a 22% breakout there. All right. Let's see what this one was. Roughly here to round about there. 22% again, look at that. We got two 22% moves. So, obviously, let's say roughly we get a 22% move from here. Let's have a look. Then we can have a guess of where we might go. Now, let's say it gets down to about, around about this red line. Exactly when it happens, I don't know. But let's go here. Sorry, we'll have to... Come on. try this again all right so let's say we start here I don't know exactly when it's going to happen but a 22% move well will you have a look at that oh I just lost it that'll be right but from this red line all the way up to this red line here 22% takes us to that kind of $13,800 level from our resistance uh, support line here, it's been resistance and support, up to our next red line, it's another 22% move. So it was 22% here, and it was a 22% move uh, sort of back here. So is Bitcoin staging and getting ready? Maybe it's gonna bounce off this, this is getting closer and closer. Maybe once our 50 day moving average reaches this uh, key support line, are we going to get another 20%, 22% uh, move, pushing up to that us up to that $3,800 level? That's pretty interesting. And I honestly didn't even see that before. I hadn't measured that out. So that was just uh, a bit of luck that I, you know, whether I guessed that uh, or not, I wouldn't say I guessed it, but just kind of noticed it. So again, that fractal is looking very similar to this fractal. And that was a 22% move. This was a 22% move. And 22% from this... Uh, key support line here up to this you know possible resistance line is another 22 percent so very very interesting anyone who's into leverage trading 
uh, you know, possibly have a look at that. Uh, you know, again, it could do the complete opposite. And now that I've said, you know, it's 22% going up, it'll probably go the other way around and drop 22%. And we'll come back down to here and maybe retest this line or something. We'll have to wait and see. But very, very interesting. All right. Something else I found interesting, institutional crypto interest hasn't been affected by COVID-19. Now look, that's across all markets at the moment. It's, you know, the, the funny money, the fake money that's just being printed, you know, print to go burr. <laughs> so there's been tons of money pumped out and obviously, you know, it's, it's gone into all investments, but crypto is definitely growing. Now, something I found really, really interesting was we've got to go down to grayscale here. So. They're up by a billion in less than two weeks. They're up to 5.1 billion and they uh, got another billion dollars in less than two weeks. But they've opened up a second uh, Bitcoin trust and they're now doing Ethereum Classic. Uh, again, interesting. They had a third 51% attack on them just the other day. But Litecoin Trust, uh, that's gone up 174 million. Uh, there, and there was a Bitcoin Cash Trust uh, also uh, up 6 million uh, to 12.8 million. So Litecoin Trust, yes, yeah, or 174 million, 12.7 uh, million and 6.7 million uh, added. Uh, so uh, Ethereum Classic and Ethereum, there we go. So that's pretty interesting that, uh, you know, the, the institutional money, it's still growing right now. It's still pouring in. So anyone that thinks... You know, they're possibly too late. Um, you know, my personal opinion, not financial advice. I don't think you're too late at all. Institutional money is still only getting in. And that's usually what is considered the smart money. And it hasn't even been like mass uh, institutional adoption. It's been just the beginning of institutional adoption. So anyone that's getting in now, you are early. Are you the earliest? No. Bitcoin has been around since 2009 but you're still very, very early. Institutions are still just getting into it. Usually they get in first and then, you know, a year or two later, once they've, you know, sorted it out and, you know, reaped all the good rewards, then they pass it on uh, to, you know, the normal everyday Joe, the public, basically, you know, I won't say you and I, because if you're watching this, you're obviously uh, ahead of the curb already, as I would like to think I am. So definitely not uh, too late at all. Still very, very early in the game. And again, up $1 billion in less than two weeks, Grayscale. Uh, they are moving. And, you know, anyone who uh, isn't sure about Litecoin, well, if the institutions are getting into it, there must be something there. I've got myself a, a stack of Litecoin, not a stack. I wouldn't say that. That's probably pushing it a bit. But I've definitely got some Litecoin. I don't have any Ethereum Classic. I've got some Ethereum. Uh, no Bitcoin Cash. I had Bitcoin Cash back in 2017 and it's just dropped too much. So I've just stuck with uh, the regular Bitcoin. Now we go over to here, Wi-Fi. God, I'm kicking myself. I didn't pay more attention to this when it come out. It's getting to $38,000 and there's people talking about it going to $100,000. But look, in saying that, the, the, the guy who invented Wi-Fi said the coin, the coin itself is worth nothing. Uh, so, you, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Wi-Fi is still very, very early. Uh, and, you know, it's great for those who have got in early. Uh, and, you know, if they, you know, have turned coins that were worth a dollar uh, into 38,000, they're absolutely cheering. But, you know, if it turns out that there's a fault or a bug or something in this, uh, it, it's going to go down very quickly. And, and I just... Yeah, I can't bring myself to jump in at the moment because when we go down and have a look at this, this is something that's going parabolic. It's unsustainable. At some time, it's going to fall over. And look, don't get me wrong, this could have a long way to go. Maybe it goes, you know, 10 times higher from here. But I just couldn't put too much into it right now for it to then have a 50% correction. That would hurt too much. You know, I can get into, you know, things like this and a little bit of this maybe. But when I see this, no, I, I just I can't bring myself to do it. Uh, it, it feels like I've already missed uh, that kind of train and I have to wait for a retracement. But anyone who got into Wi-Fi, you know, back when it was like a dollar and all the rest of it, you're absolutely cheering at the moment. You know, 38,000 percent rise. Uh, and again, there's people talking about going it going to 50K and 100K and things like that. And look. Congratulations to anyone who's getting into it and brave enough to stick with it at 38,000, particularly if it goes to 100,000, like well done, but 
for me I just can't go I can't go in at the moment if it was just something down here absolutely but once I see this it's a big red flag for me I just can't do it not red flag that the the project itself is no good but this is the true indication of something that's going parabolic and usually when something's going parabolic you're too late to the party uh, and it's likely gonna you know you're closer to it tipping over and coming back than you are to it uh, the start of it to continue to go but again not impossible now ledger they have had a number of sort of safety issues uh, for a while so they had a, a breach uh, of uh, personal details for people who had been buying ledgers uh, they had a bit of a sort of hack where you know if you were sending Litecoin uh, it could be uh, there was a sort of a, a bug there where someone could get in and they could uh, make it look like you were sending Litecoin and actually take your uh, Bitcoin and things like that so now allegedly all these have been fixed uh, and people still believe that Ledger is one of the safest you know devices out there uh, but, but very very interesting that they've had uh, all this kind of stuff go on because there was almost nothing about Ledger back in 2017 sort of 18 at least you know and I'm not saying nothing about them there was plenty about them but nothing sort of bad there was very little about you know bugs and possible hacks and things like that but as crypto starts to build you know it, it's becoming you know the bigger it gets the more people that are going to be out there that are want, going to want to try and hack it and things like that so very very interesting i mean i still trust ledger you know i've got some of my stuff on the ledger i've got some of it on cold wallets and hot wallet, hot wallets and uh, on exchanges so in various different places uh, but yeah we'll have to wait and see hopefully ledger uh, is sorting out these issues and they've just had a you know a period where you know everything hasn't been completely squeaky clean but hopefully it gets back to that because yeah uh, until very recently i'd never heard anything bad about uh, ledger really at all so interesting now this is even more interesting 3.5 million crypto wallets downloaded in july active users up 110 percent over the year so again anyone who's saying we're not in a bull market they would have to be crazy you'd have to be crazy 110 percent uh, up in the year and 3.5 million uh, new crypto wallets just in the last month so imagine what it's going to be like when it really starts to kick off because this is nothing you know it's going to be 10 times bigger once it really starts to pump next year and particularly once bitcoin you know breaks above its old time high because unfortunately the psyche of most investors is we want to jump into things when they're pumping that's generally not a great time to jump in it's not that it's you know you can't still make money but it's already started to pump you really want to get into things before they pump so we go over here and we can have a look uh, and again let's have a look at what the biggest pumps are last 24 hours so you know 141 percent I wouldn't touch that I would not touch that at all and again it's not to say that it couldn't go higher that could pump another 500 percent you just don't know but the chances are and we can already see here it's starting to pull back it's more likely going to dump you want to get into the things that have had a big dump you still got to do some research find out that they're good projects so let's go the other way around all right so not a lot of big dumps actually pretty small ones but again if you believe in kasama after a 5.2 percent dump maybe a great time to get in polka dot four percent if you're loving polka dot and again i like polka dot and i want to get some uh you know great time to sort of get in i guess again you've got to believe in the project you've got to have done your research and all the rest of it Digibyte's killing me. I got in a while ago and it's, uh, done, uh, you know, kind of pulled back some. But anyway, I, I, I don't mind. I didn't put that much in. And the chart from what I was uh, showing the other day, I, I still believe there's a chance it's going to have a big massive pump again. So we'll have to wait and see. But this is what you're looking for. Again, get in on the pullbacks rather than the big pumps. So again, we go back to this. Oh, you know, the unfortunately again the the human psyche is this is what they want to jump into it's pumping so i'm going to jump in and it's going to continue to pump sometimes you get lucky and i have done this back in 2017 uh you know i was at the hype of the bull market and i was just putting money into everything that was pumping and it just continued to go up i couldn't go wrong 
but unfortunately then 2018 came about January and it was just down 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 and I you know again rode it all the way to the bottom I turned literally probably four five hundred dollars into about nearly four thousand dollars and then that four thousand dollars turned into about probably two hundred dollars uh, by the time sort of 2018 2019 came around so uh, a, a very interesting learning curve uh, and now again I steer clear of anything like this I, I don't want to foam I win I definitely am looking for more this sort of stuff all right what's a good project that I like and I've done some research on and has had a good pullback this is what I might be looking for then I'm going to get in and hopefully you know a day a week or two a month or two later you get another big pump but anyway that's just my personal opinion it's not financial advice you got to work it out for yourself but let's have a look at the market cap so again we're up 383 billion we're starting to push towards that 390 and you know trying to break that 400 billion dollar mark once we break that 400 billion dollar mark I would say Bitcoin is going to move. That's what's going to get us over that $400 billion mark. Bitcoin is going to make, a, make another move. And again, we're over here. I would say it's probably going to, you know, push off this mark and get us up to that kind of $14,000 level. And then that's when we're going to get over that $400 billion mark. And then it's again, that psychological level at the moment. I've seen this at 300, and I think it was 388, 387 billion probably a week or two ago. So, you know, it got to nearly 390 billion uh, and then it pulled back and it's got down as low as I think 360, 358 billion. So, you know, it's really been ranging. But let's go and have a look at the market cap and watch what it's been doing for a while. So let's just go the last 30 days. So as we can see, there we go. We're up at 393 billion. So we're above that 390 billion. But then we just started to taper off and come down. Pumped up, come down. Now we're going to probably hopefully make another attempt. Again, it is Sunday uh, evening here uh, in Australia so Monday morning tomorrow so we'll wait and see what happens you know is the market going to get ready to pump and you know push us up over that kind of 400 billion dollar mark and it'll probably be led by uh, Bitcoin but in saying that the altcoins have uh, generally been doing pretty well while Bitcoin's trading sideways so interesting times ahead uh, and you know time will tell what's going to happen I am predicting we're going to get over that 400 billion dollar mark uh, in the not too distant future well there you go now we're down 384 billion I think we just lost sort of four billion dollars uh, 400 billion dollars not 400 billion because that's 384 billion but yeah we probably lost about four billion dollars uh, just in the last few minutes uh, actually probably not the last few minutes because I hadn't refreshed that for a while but there you go markets you know just moving all over the place anyway I don't want to take up too much more of your time uh, you know Hopefully everyone's, you know, getting on some of these gains, particularly in the altcoins. That's where they are at the moment. Bitcoin's just trading sideways. Ethereum, you know, gets over 400 and then it drops under 400 a little bit. So pretty much kind of the same thing, trading sideways. Uh, and XRP, you know, it's up and it's down, but it's generally sort of around the 27 uh, to 30 cent sort of mark. You know, we'll have to wait and see, uh, you know, when XRP gets on its move because I, I have a bag of XRP uh, and I am hoping that we'll repeat what it did back in uh, 2017 because if you know if this could go to over three dollars something right there that's a 10x just to get back to its uh, previous all-time high whereas Bitcoin to get back to its previous all-time high it's not even a double it's a little bit less uh, and Ethereum uh, it's about a 3x to get to its old all-time high uh, a little bit more than 3x so yeah they're the things that I'm looking for again no guarantees XRP will do that again but if it were to get to I think it's about $3.80 uh, $3 yeah I think $3.80 was its previous all-time high so again that's over a 10x right there for XRP just to get to its old all-time high but no guarantees it'll do that but if it does that and then goes beyond again let's you know there's people talking about XRP getting to roughly sort of ten dollars I don't know if we'll get to ten dollars let's just say nine dollars well 
that's one hell of a you know percentage there it's a 10x to get to sort of three dollars so that's a 30x uh right there if it gets to sort of the nine dollar mark and some because it's actually 27 cents so things to keep a look out for you know still very very early in the piece and we'll have to wait and see how everything does but interesting times ahead stay safe be kind to one another hopefully you're on that game train and i'll see you next time